Congratulations on your new Sphere microphone. In this video, we'll walk you through everything you need to know to get started, including registering your mic, installing software, and connecting to your audio interface. First, head to the URL printed on the card that came with your Sphere to download the UA Connect application. UA Connect lets you register your microphone and download the included Sphere plugins. Once installed, open UA Connect and log in or create a new account. Next, click Add New Product in the bottom left corner, enter the 14-digit serial number found on the bottom of your microphone, and confirm registration. Once you're registered, go to the Microphones tab of UA Connect to download the included Sphere plugins. Native plugins can be downloaded directly from UA Connect in audio units, VST3, and AAX64 formats. If you own an Apollo interface or U82 hardware, licenses for the DSP versions of the plugins will be added to your account automatically and can be used by installing the UAD software from uaudio.com forward slash downloads. Now that your mic is registered and the Sphere plugins are installed, let's check out how to set up Sphere with your audio interface. If you own an Apollo interface, you can use the Sphere plugins in console to monitor in real time without any additional latency. Start by connecting Sphere to two adjacent microphone inputs on the Apollo using the included cable. Then stereo link the channels in console, enable phantom power, and load the Sphere plugin into one of the inserts. In most cases, you'll want to use the standard Sphere plugin, which uses both of Sphere's capsules to provide the most accurate microphone modeling. However, if you own a Sphere DLX, you can also use the 180 version of the plugin for stereo recording. Next, select your Sphere model in the Sphere plugin. The plugin will remember your selection and you can change the source mic via the menu in the bottom left corner. Now, raise the input gain on your Apollo interface until you see a healthy signal level coming from the sphere. In this example, we're just using the stock Apollo preamp, but you can also use Unison plugins here too for added color. In console, you can choose whether to commit the microphone modeling or not with the UAD record or monitor buttons. If UAD monitor is used, you'll be able to hear the sound of the microphone modeling in your headphones, but only the raw signal will be recorded. So you can load the Sphere plugin into your DAW to change microphone models and other settings after recording. If UAD record is used, the modeled microphone signal will be recorded into your DAW just as you hear it in your headphones. If you own a different audio interface, setup is similar, but you'll need to use the Sphere plugin in your DAW for monitoring and recording. Start by connecting Sphere to two adjacent microphone inputs on your audio interface using the included cable. Then stereo link the channels if available and enable phantom power. If you can't stereo link channels on your audio interface, make sure to use calibration mode in the Sphere plugin, which we'll cover in a second. For now, raise the input gain on your interface until you see a healthy signal level coming from your Sphere. Next, create a stereo track in your DAW, load the Sphere plugin, and select your model. Enable input monitoring on your DAW track to hear the modeled microphone signal. If using an interface without stereo linking, enter calibration mode using the cow switch on the Sphere microphone. Then click the setup button in the bottom right corner of the plugin. Now speak into the front of the microphone and adjust the second channel's input gain until you get a reading of zero on the calibration meter. If you can't get them to match exactly, press the auto button to get them closer. If latency is too high, you can try lowering your buffer size, but beware that this may increase CPU usage and cause audio artifacts like clicks and pops. If your audio interface features direct monitoring, make sure to disable that as well. You're now ready to start recording with your Sphere microphone. For more info, check out the product manuals at help.uaudio.com. And don't forget to subscribe to the Universal Audio YouTube channel for more videos.